Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 13th HTML tutorial. In the last two tutorials we talked about how to create um, both ordered and unordered lists. Um, and basically they're just lists that list things either using bullet points for unordered lists or numbers for ordered lists. And we also talked about how to nest lists and that means um, putting one list inside of another. Um, but in this tutorial I figured we're going to learn about a different type of list called definition lists. And I actually didn't learn about this type of list myself until last night when I was looking up some information on the W3Schools website about lists. So this is essentially what, in, what a definition list looks like. It's basically how you, uh, you can put an item in the list and then define what it is underneath it. Um, and you'll also notice it has an indentation here. So for this list I just put HTML, JavaScript, PHP, and Java as the items and I just define some things underneath, of, underneath to give a little description of what they are. So uh, for HTML, I just said hypertext markup language. That's what we're learning, so I figured I'd throw that on the list. Um, and then I included JavaScript, uh, what it is, PHP, a little bit what, what that is, and then Java. So if we come into our code here, we can see what it actually looks like to create a definition list. Um, so here's the code for it. It's a little bit different than what, what we've been doing in the last two tutorials, as it has um, actually three uh, tags that we're going to be using. But it's pretty much the same, same basic idea as the other two types of lists. Um, so let's get into coding it. Let's just uh, erase the whole page here. All right, so let's start creating our page. Put our head tags in here. And we'll put a title. Ooh, a couple typos today. All right, so the title will say definition lists. And if we come on down here, we'll add our body. All right, so let's just save this up here and we'll come over and take a look. And you'll notice that everything's blank as usual and um, we have our definition list title up here. So if we come back and we'll start, we can start writing the code for our list. Um, and like in the last two tutorials, I added a little title using a header three tag. Um, and that's just to describe what the list is about because there is no title within the actual list itself. Though if you're talking about the list somewhere else on the page or you just want to have a regular list, um, that's up to you. But for the purpose of this, we'll just add a little bit of a title. So we'll use our h3 tag. And uh, again, this is the header that's probably in the middle because there's a uh, header one to header six. So uh, we'll call this definition, actually we'll call it programming languages. So this is what our list is going to be about. It's going to be about a couple different programming languages like you saw. Um, so let's just save that and come over here and take a look. And here's our title. So if we come over here, let's start work on our lists here. So the definition list, like the ordered and unordered lists, begins with uh, an opening and closing tag. Um, and it doesn't have um, the letter U or O in it, obviously. It has the letter D for definition and then L for list, so we'll close that off down here. So this is our shell of the definition list. If we save it and come over here, you'll still notice that there's nothing, um, but if we view the source code of the page, you will see that there is a list on the page. The browser does see the list, but there's no items inside of the list to, show the, to render to the user. So if we exit out of this here and come on back to our code, we can begin adding our list items. So the way that we add a list item, unlike in an ordered or unordered list, um, we don't use the li tag. We instead use the, the dt tag, and I'm not sure exactly what that stands for, but um, that's the tag that we use to add a list item. So, like in our example that I had here, I uh, will put HTML as the first uh, item on the list, and we'll save and come on over here. Now, as you can see here, we do have our HTML, um, and if you look at the source code, you'll notice that it will be there, but we haven't yet added the definition to it. So in order to add a definition, we're going to use a different tag, and that tag is DD. And I'm not really sure what that stands for either, but I would guess one of them stands for definition, but who knows. So, um, add our DD tag, and if you notice here, we do have an opening and a closing tag, and this is necessary for both the, the list itself, the item in the list, and the description of the item. So DD is basically the item's description. It will appear under the item in the list. So, um, let's take a look here. We're going to add We'll say HTML is hyper text markup language, and um, we'll save that over here and come take a look in Firefox. And you'll notice, and you'll notice that we have the definition underneath it. So uh, it is a little spaced, but if you have a longer list item, it'll probably look a little better. Um, but let's take a look over here. One thing that I did in the tutorial and that I also saw on the W3 Schools website was that they added the a hyphen to it just to make kind of show that it's the definition. You don't have to do this, but I don't know, I think it kind of looks okay with it, so uh, we'll keep that there. 
So let's add another item to our list here. Um, and we'll start with our DT tags. Um, and just in the last couple tutorials, I talked about how you don't have to have the, uh, the list item or the description or whatever underneath it. You can have it right beside it because the browser essentially just reads one thing after another. Um, but in order to make it look like a list, um, I just kind of like to have it underneath. And if you wanted to, you can even space it out to show the description of the list within it. So it kind of looks like it would look on the page itself with the uh, description indented in a little bit. So that's one way we can do it. And uh, I think it looks a little easier to read. So let's add another list thing to our list here. And we'll say JavaScript. And we'll come down here and we'll add our description. And again, it's important not to forget the closing tag. So uh, we'll say for JavaScript is client side scripting language. So we'll save, come over here, take a look. And here we go. We have another item on our list here. You will notice that they're kind of close together. Um, you might be able to just space them apart using a BR tag if you want to, but um, let's take a look here and see what that looks like. And you will see that they do space apart if you want to do that. So let's come over here and uh, let's remove this for right now. We'll add another thing to our list here. We'll say PHP. And we'll add our description. And for PHP, we'll say server side scripting language. We'll save that and we'll come on over here and refresh. And you'll see that we have our PHP here um, in this definition. Um, but you will notice that I actually left out the hyphen, but it's up to you what you want to do. It's um, depending on what you're doing and what the applications you're going to use for this type of list. Uh, everything's entirely up to you. So I'll just add my hyphen in here. And we'll add the last thing to the list, which is Java. I'll say Java, and we will come down. And actually, forgot to space this out here. We'll come down and add our, we'll add our definition to the list here. All right, and we'll say high-level programming language, and we'll save that. Come over here, and you'll notice that we have all four of our list items here, followed by the definitions. And if you view the source code here. You'll notice that we, the browser is seeing everything that we typed in, um, and it's actually reading it the way that we indented it as well. So um, it's just a, a good practice to indent if you want to. In other programming languages, um, it's, it's going to make it a lot easier to read. And this, this can be like JavaScript, PHP, or Java, because they all do involve code blocks and indenting and stuff like that. So um, you don't have to, but it's a, it's a good practice to get into, I guess, if you want to make things a little bit easier on yourself um, to read. So let's we'll come down here, make that like that. So basically, this is our list here. This is how to create a defini definition list in HTML. Um, I'm not going to show you how to nest definition lists, though I'm sure you can probably do it just like in the other two lists. Um, if you're interested in nesting, you can check out the previous two tutorials on unordered and ordered lists. Um, and nesting just means putting one thing inside of another. So it's basically just putting one list inside of another list item. So uh, that's something that you can take a look at in the previous two tutorials if you're interested. Um, and if you haven't checked those out, you can probably do so now or uh, whenever you feel like it. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, or just uh, want to know a little bit more about this stuff or having a little bit of trouble, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try to answer those. Or you can contact me using the contact page on technicalcafe.com. You can also tweet me on either the Technical Cafe Twitter, um, which is twitter.com slash technicalcafe, or you can tweet me using my personal Twitter, which is twitter.com slash jamiemcg. Um, so again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, and again, if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching and have a great day.